Hey, Vic. Mr. Ryan. This is an introduction to uh, my Benjamin pellet gun. Uh, bought it last year. It's uh, 177 caliber. It's a pre-charged gun, meaning uh, it's pre-charged in order to shoot it. Uh, one of two ways. It's either pumped or charged with a, a uh, scuba tank or some other type tank. Um, it fires one at a time, full action. It's very accurate. Um, you saw my, or we'll see, depending on how it turns out on the video, my uh, target set up here. It's uh, 30 yards, 90 feet away from this point right here. Uh, and I made this last fall. Late, late summer. Uh, works pretty good for the lazy man to put up his target. And uh, I'll talk about that more later. But uh, I'm going to show you how this thing works um, a little at a time. First, I'll uh, show you the pump. Okay, Vic, uh, this is the pump came with the gun. It was uh, 390 bucks total for the gun and the pump. It's a very um, well built, very sturdy pump. And uh, it basically it takes the gun up to uh, 2000 PSI right here. And it's about 40 pumps to go from 1,000 psi to 2,000, and that's the recommended way of shooting it. You get about 40 shots in between 2,000 and 1,000. Uh, starts out right around 950 feet per second. Goes down to about. 850 and 900. I forget exactly what. I, I cronied it last year, though. I'll probably do another video of that. Um, so the uh, the gun is connected to the the pump by removing this cap here, and then fitting this valve onto here and just pumping it up. It's it's pretty close to 2,000. Oh, I'm sorry, no it isn't. It's actually about 16, 1,700. So as long as I got it hooked up here, let's uh, give her a few pumps. There's a, a relief valve here that has to be tightened. And then untightened once you got it up to the whatever you want to have it at, in this case 2000. I can watch the, the gauge here to know when I have that 2000. So now what I have to do is I have to uh, release the pressure that's in this 
small section of hose. Now I can safely remove the connector. Replace this. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this. There's the, the gauge right there. And it's right uh, at 2000. You want to go to the yellow and definitely not the red. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take a few shots. Okay, Vic. Haven't, haven't done the uh, this year's job, which is to get a bench built here. So I got a little. Got a little makeshift bench. Just a spot where I can make a couple shots. Okay, Vic. Uh, I ran out of memory on my card for my phone, so I'm just doing the the last little thing. Apparently, I took uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, seven shots. So there's the there's the spread, and uh, then I'm going to show you the other way to charge this gun. Now I only made a few shots, so I don't really need to. It's just a tad below full, but um, just to show you how it's done, it's a 80, 80 cubic foot. Um, I had to buy this new. 80, cu 80 cubic feet of uh, regular air for diving, and uh, to fill it is six bucks, unless they raise the price this year. So uh, I haven't filled it yet because I really didn't use it that much and I was pumping it mostly. But basically the same idea, same type of valve. You put that on there. You close uh, the uh, little relief valve, drain valve, and then uh, you just open this up. Uh, it's going to take me longer than it would take if the thing was empty because I, I don't want to go over. And I did. I just went over. Not by much, but that's it. That's it. Then you just release it and done. So this is the way to go, definitely. But it's not a big deal to pump it up either. And uh, you probably haven't noticed that I have a few extra pounds, but I do. It's not going to hurt me to pump. So that's uh, that's all for this video. Catch. You